Good evening, YouTube. Brew by me, back again. Yes, I am. Gonna do a review tonight. You can see my pup in the background. That's Hannah Banana. She's a Chinese Sharpie. She's old though. She's 11, I think. Anyways, so back to the topic tonight. I'm gonna do some beer reviews. Um, and I thought that I would start with. Uh, one that uh, I picked up at Bruhaha for two dollars and forty nine cents. This is Brasserie du Ciel. This is the Rose Hibiscus. So it's a strong wheat beer brewed with spices and hibiscus flowers. It's five point nine percent ABV. Uh, Microbrasserie du Ciel Inc. is in Saint Jerome, Quebec, Canada. Um, it has the dates and the numbers on there. The little stamped parts there. That's the dates and stuff. So, so it's a hibiscus wheat beer. I'm just gonna uh, give it a little swirl on its side. I'm going to use my um, Brasserie du Ciel glass. It's like a tulip type glass. <coughs> Subaru. Brew by me. Bibi Bafla. Ah, there's the cat in the back there, too. That's Zara. So, without further ado, so that's the label. It's a pretty cool label. It's just a girl with some hibiscus flowers in her hair. You can smell the, uh, the, f the hibiscus. It is a wheat beer so it's gonna be cloudy. And, wow. There's like... There's like no head. So, there you have it. It's kind of like a pinky orange kind of color. And now you can see the name on the glass. You can see the nice carbonation in the glass. There is no head. So, let's give it a smell. Very, very floral. Um, you can smell the hibiscus. There's kind of a biscuit, weedy smell there as well. A little bit, slight bit of sweetness. And a little bit of fruitiness. And that's about it. I'm not picking up anything else. So, without further ado, let's give her a whirl. Well, <clears throat> you're definitely picking up a very, very floral um, character in the taste. It's also kind of earthy, kind of woody. A very, very faint bit of sweetness. And a very, very bit of like a bready, biscuity kind of character there. Other than that, it's all um, floral. I 
I guess like the more and more you take a sip, you kind of get some citrus characters there, a little bit of spice. But mainly flowers. There's a slight bit of a a very 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 slight bit of sourness. Uh, very light bodied, medium carbonation. The label's pretty cool though. Anyways, so yeah, it's not bad, it's very different. I haven't had a beer quite like this. It kind of has similar taste to the, uh, I think it was Magic Hat number no. 9 had hibiscus in it too. But this is more, more floral than the, the uh, uh, Magic Hat was. not bad like I said light tasting light body very floral slight bit of citrus slight bit of spice um, it is different so if you want you can go give it a whirl um, <coughs> it's a very different beer very interesting there's nothing off about it there's nothing great about it it's just different and it's it's fairly refreshing Um, they probably used 50-50, some wheat malt in there and some pale malt with a whole whack load of hibiscus flowers. Some earthy kind of floral hops in there. Maybe, uh, maybe a, a little bit of a citrus type hop. So, yeah. It's good, it's passing. Um, so if you want to try something different, has a little bit of a different taste than you're used to, go get this. Brasserie du de Ciel, the Rosé de, Hibis de Hibiscus. So, there's still a lot of, uh, I'm gonna try something here, there's still a lot of yeast in the bottom of the bottle. See if I can. I'm gonna see if I can incorporate some of that yeast and stuff in there. There we go. I got a bit of a head now. <laughs> Still the same color though. It's a little more cloudy. There's a little bit of head. Yeah, still tastes the same. Um, so, anyhow, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please rate, comment, subscribe, leave any suggestions or ideas in the comments box, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Until next time, brew by me. Out.